Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and I'm gonna bring you five of the best stocks to buy now that are not EV stocks, as I have a lot of people out there asking for some diversity out there in the portfolio. So I'm gonna bring you some that I absolutely love. These are ones that I think are going to absolutely dominate long-term, and I have no problem putting more and more capital into them. Stick around, I think you're gonna like what I got for you. For those new to the channel, I am Stock Mo, an old financial advisor and teacher. All I ever ask, hit that subscribe button, and of course, annihilate that like button for me, and hit the little bell for notifications, and hit all. Uh, now, I do have a good link down below. It is to Weeble. They just added on Cardano into the crypto, and they have a great special going right now. Deposit $5 or more, they'll give you two free stocks worth up to $2,300. If you do not have a side account here, please take advantage of this. This is one of the best opportunities and it doesn't cost much to get into it and you're already guaranteed at least $11 all the way up to $2,300 in free stocks. Now, I do have a link down below to BlockFi as well. Take advantage of that. They're giving you up to 250 in free Bitcoin and on top of that, they're paying interest on the crypto you can have in there. You wanna take advantage of this. If you got your crypto sitting somewhere and you're not making money off of it, you're gonna to wanna to come over and check that out. Now, I do have my link to Patreon as well. Take advantage of that come over and see all the different stocks we are buying and selling i just added some on today it was a great day for buying and of course you can come over and check out the patreon uh, the uh, discord where we have thousands of members where we're talking about these stocks day in and day out the crypto as well it's a good place to go now today i wanted to talk a little bit about some stocks that i normally don't mention for the most part these are some stocks in my portfolios that i continue to add on to i continue to dollar cost average into because i want to take advantage of these stocks because I believe in the long term, these are the best stocks to buy now. And I could put this out there five years from now knowing how well they should be doing. And some of them have been beaten up because of the pandemic. Others just are younger companies. And you'll see what I'm talking about here soon that have the potential to absolutely dominate moving forward. So the first of the best stocks to buy now, in my opinion, and these are ones that are not EVs. I wanted to pick something that was not just your Neo, your Tesla and those. I wanted to go out on a limb a little bit and talk about some of the diversification that I have in my portfolios that I continue to add on to. The first one is going to be Walt Disney Company. Absolutely love this stock. I think this is going to be a big winner as we move, you know, years into the future. If you're looking for stocks for your portfolio that can continue to grow, as time goes on, Walt Disney is the one that I absolutely love. Now, you know, they had that big movie come out this weekend, broke all the box office records for 2021. That was Black Widow, and they absolutely killed it there. They did very, very well. Now, I was down at the parks, for those that don't know, over the last two weeks, and as I got down there, I noticed that they were packed. And on top of that, the restaurants were absolutely booked. You could not go into any of them because they were filled. And so they are making money. I'm not worried about the parks. The movies are starting to come back. You're starting to see that. They did the whole dual approach for getting on online or in the theaters. They absolutely crushed it. So I'm feeling good about Disney. I think they're going to be able to leverage all the different movies, the Marvels, all that into a lot of money. And so I like Disney for the long term. As you can see, as Disney, you know, if you own this five years ago, under five years ago, it has more than doubled. And I always say, if you can get a stock that can double in under seven years that you feel good about, that is the kind of companies I wanna have. And so this one, as we look here, actually got down to $85 a share. Um, back at the end of the first pandemic, if you will, as it dropped down into March, we could see that this climbed all the way up 113%. I do believe it's going to do very well, Disney Plus, and just like I said, the movies, the parks, and all the different things they own should continue to move up. Now, we will take a look at what the analysts think of these stocks as well. Uh, we'll take all the Wall Street analysts, I'll show you that at the end here, and we'll go over it. The next one I absolutely love, this is one that has been coming down. Uh, I wanna take advantage of that. 
And you can see it, we've been dropping down a little bit from 380 down to a couple percentage points. I like Goldman Sachs for the long run. If you take a look, uh, it has been climbing because once you, these banks are going to do well in this post pandemic economy. Look at the PE ratio on this 6.81. To me, this thing is so undervalued that it, I could call this a value play and roll with it. So I continue to add on Goldman Sachs. I like this stock for the long term. I think it's going to do very well. And and next one, Airbnb. This is one that I absolutely love as well. And you can see the Airbnb has taken big hits. Uh, and since even since February, it came all the way down. It's down 35% off those highs back in February. I do believe that right now is a great time. If you believe that they are going to recover, that people are going to get out, they're going to be using their services, that this and this is going to become the norm into the future, which I think it will. This is a company you can get into at these prices and feel pretty good about it moving forward. You are looking at almost 12 month lows, which when you're entering a position for the long term, that's what I'm looking for. I do believe once we can get through the pandemic, whenever that is, even if it, you know, I'm hoping it's now and we knock these cases down a lot, but just say there's a little flare up in the, in the fall or whatever, and it takes an extra couple of months. This is the kind of stock that I want to get into for that post rally, because I do believe you will see a lot of people using the services. Next of the best stocks to buy now is going to be STEM Inc. This is one of them stocks that, you know, it's post merger, we're seeing it come out. I have a little position into it. I added on it for a little bit. And if you take a look at this today, it's down 7%, it's been all over. It did have a nice rally up and you're seeing a continuation of selling off. Now it's getting down to that price that I absolutely liked. And so I went ahead and added some more on and took advantage of the price price today and wanted to you know see where we can go with this because I do believe in the long term you're going to see a good run on this and you're going to see what the analysts think of this at the end like I said to some of the prices and you can there's you know for a great article to read about what they do down here I'll let you go ahead and search that up and it'll explain a little bit more about what's going on for me though I think the whole clean energy play for those that follow the channel you know I think that's a big part of the future I think the infrastructure bills coming out of DC and the clean energy they're looking for that this company could go ahead and take advantage of some of that money and get their fair share. And the next of the best stocks to buy now in 2021, in my opinion, is Apple. This stock, I bought some options on it. I bought Leap options, I should say, and they are doing very well. For some of the other ones, of course, my ChargePoint, my Neo, they've been coming down, getting hammered, but this is one that continues higher. Even today, when everything was down, you're seeing this green. Look at this growth. I am loving what I'm seeing with Apple, and I will continue to take advantage of this as we move forward. I told you I wanted to see this by June of 2023, up around $200 a share. That gives us almost two years to see this go up just 50 bucks. I think that could happen. And if that happens, I'm going to be making a nice little profit on those options. Now we can go ahead and take a look at what the analysts think of the best stocks to buy now. Now I wanted to start with Disney. You know how big I am of a fan on this stock. But as we come down here, you will see that uh, we have an average of um, to $210 a share. This is a 14% increase over the next 12 months. I'm always looking for double digit returns if I can get them. Sometimes I think the analysts are a little low on these. I think that Disney could actually get up to that 20 to 25% over the next 12 months. We will wait and see. Uh, the next though is Goldman Sachs. Once again, they had this at about 14.77% up over the next 12 months. I thought this would be closer to 20 to 25% up. Once again, like I said, I don't always agree with them. I have it a little bit more bullish based on the current prices and how much money I think they're gonna be able to pull in moving forward. And the next of the best stocks to buy now, this is one of my growth plays. This is Airbnb, and this one's closer. Now, now we're getting to where I think this is 25% up and they uh, have it at 175 in the next 12 months. Depending on how everything goes, this could actually explode higher than that. That is why I like this one. And next, this is one of the bigger ones. That, according to the analysts out there, Goldman Sachs has this at $34 price target. Uh, and you can see here, that is about 27% upside potential based on that price target. I absolutely think we're gonna see this thing have good movement up and I'm excited to be a part of it. I have it for the long term. I'm gonna be holding it and we're gonna see some volatility in this because it's like catching a falling knife. I took that chance. We'll see how it works out. 
And of course, one of my favorites though, Apple. Over the next 12 months, they have this at 163. I actually think this could get up a little bit higher than that. We will wait and see. I told you I have a price target of 200 in the next two years on this. So we will see where it goes. Uh, if we can hit that, I believe we're gonna see some really nice returns on those leap options that I put out there. So these are your top five best stocks to buy now. I hope they were good for you. I, I like the variety of them. It gives you some diversity in your portfolio away from just the EVs. I wanted to pick some that kind of spread it out amongst all the different industries and kept that aggressive. I want more than five to 6% gains a year. And I tried to find ones that gave you good double digit gains over the next 12 months. These are ones that I personally own and I, I do think are gonna do very well into the future and I continue to add on to them. Now, if you haven't done it yet, the easiest way to make money though is get those two free stocks from Weeble down below, put $5 or more and have a little side account. I do that all the time. And then you can uh, get up to 2,300 in free stocks. And on top of that, they now added Cardano over there with Ethereum and Dogecoin, all that good stuff. So if you wanted to always get into them, that's a good way to do it. And of course, go over to BlockFi down below the link. They have the fantastic uh, offer right now of up to 250 and free Bitcoin for signing up and they pay interest on top of your crypto for letting it sit there. And I do have a link to uh, uh, tip ranks down below. If you like that information, take a look at that link, take advantage of it and come over and join me at the Patreon. We have some good things going on over there, thousands of members and you can join in and see what we're always doing. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.